In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of navigating through your new digital planner. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my basic 2020 daily planner. Now, if you have a different version of my planner, uh, things might be slightly different. You'll have a few extra uh, template pages and bonus sections, but overall, um, things will feel fairly consistent. So this will be helpful for you regardless of um, which of my 2020 planner versions you have. So when you first open up the planner, you're going to see this basic cover page. Uh, now you're able to trade out this cover for one of the alternate covers or decorate it with some of the stickers I've shared. Uh, and I'll link below the video that shows you those steps. But if you just swipe to the right here, you'll end up on a basic information page. Um, now there's a lot here I'm pointing out to you up in the upper left, uh, some of the basic navigation in the planner. I'm also walking you through how the dated pages are all hyperlinked together. I have a link here to see the videos on just getting started. And I also have a quick description of your stickers. And so uh, I've designed this page just to kind of be a one-stop refresher on, on how everything is linked together. And I'll be covering a lot of this in this video today. You'll also see at the very bottom, I have a link to my site for you. And then up to the right, just above that, I have the hex codes and the fonts used in this planner. Uh, if you like to create your own designs, but you want things to be consistent, you're welcome to use that information just to keep all the, the colors and fonts consistent. So in the very bottom right here, this eye icon, this is the link to this page. So if you wanna jump back to this page, you can always just hit the eye there. Okay, so let's start along the top here and look at our top navigation and what links you have here. So all the way at the top left, these three lines, sometimes called the hamburger or menu icon, tap on that and it will take you to your basic table of contents page. Now, this is where you will create your own sections and designate your blank pages. Um, so it'll be a, a basic point of reference for you uh, to remember and recall uh, you know, what, what sections you've designated for what. And so I'll get into all of this in a later video, really how to maximize use of your sections and your pages. Um, but what you should know now is that each of these boxes uh, for the sections links to the section divider page. So I'm gonna tap back into the table of contents and you can see if I click on number two, it's taking me to the second divider page. So again, I'll link below some more information on how to use these most effectively, um, but just for purposes of navigation, be aware that each of these boxes are linked out to the specific divider pages. You also have kind of a, a quick hop over to those dividers with these colored dots that you see along the top. So whether I clicked on the one there or the blue dot, they're both taking me to the same page. And so the purpose of the dots there are from any section or page of the planner, you can instantly jump to the section if you know what color it is, rather than hopping back to this table of contents page and then over to the section. Um, you can also see I have a bunch of blank pages here. And so each of these blank pages, again, each of these boxes links out to a blank page. And so a single tap takes you to that single blank page. So moving over to the next icon in the top menu, this is your table of contents for your bonus pages. And so these are single pages in the planner that are essentially template pages that you can duplicate as many times as needed to use them within your planner. So you can see there's a lot here, uh, whether you're looking for some basic planning, uh, trackers and organization, financial, um, or all different blank pages or meeting notes. Uh, you can pretty much get any of the major templates that you might need here. Um, and I also have some options for adding new pages. I'll also be covering this in a separate video that I'll link below. But mainly you should know that this table of contents is really the best 
page for you to start at uh, when you're looking for a specific bonus page to use. And so for any page that interests you, like let's say we wanna look at the bucket list here, just tap on bucket list and it'll take you to that specific page. So you can see we've gone to a different page of the planner and I could jump back to the table of contents and jump into any of these other pages. And so you would jump over to this page to then duplicate that page and insert it wherever you wanted to within your planner. Moving over, we also have this whole goal, goal setting section and um, each of these boxes here that you see in, in the three phases, so reflection, vision, your top three, each of these boxes links out to a page that kind of gives you some setup and some prompts for completing the exercise. And then you can see here at the bottom, complete your reflection, tap there, and it'll take you over to the pages and we can, in this specific one, tap continued to move forward. So when you're in this goal setting section, just be aware that each of these boxes takes you to the page for that specific step in the process. And as you go, you can check off each of the steps that you complete. And then in this specific planner, the last section is the goal setting section. This basically just gives you the ability to record each of your goals on a specific line here. Um, and so if I tap on one, it's going to take me to those goal pages. So in this planner, I've created this as a separate section just so you can always quickly jump into your goals uh, because you'll be referring back to them often to make sure that you're planning effectively week to week. Um, you'll want to come back to this page a lot. So that's the end of what you see linked at the top here. If we move down to the right side, you basically have a hyperlink um, to each of the monthly dated spreads. So when I tap on January, it's going to take me to my January monthly spread. Same with February and on through the year. Now when I'm on the monthly spread, I am going to be able to tap on any of the week numbers here on the far left side. You can see I have it labeled week five. If I tap there, it's going to take me to the weekly dated spread. If I tap back to the month, I have also all of my daily hyperlinks right here. So if I tap on the two, it's going to take me to that actual daily page. So um, it's a lot of extra hyperlinks for me to add in to get you to the daily pages from both the month and the week. Um, but it was important to me that you're able to navigate around in this planner really quickly. And then the third set of hyperlinks that you'll see on the monthly pages is on the far right here, the shaded areas. If you tap on the shaded area for each week, it will take you to the weekly planning page. And this is the page that's designed for you to complete, you know, at the start of a week or the end of the week before to really reflect on your progress and plan effectively for your week. So you can see here, just to review, when I look at week five, if I click, if I tap on the left there, it's taking me to the dated weekly spread. And if I tap on the right, it's taking me to the planning page dedicated for that specific week. So let's jump back into the uh, weekly dated page. And as I mentioned here in the weekly page, you are able to jump to your daily pages. So if I tap here on the 27th, it's going to take me to that page for that day. And then the other hyperlink you have here on your weekly pages, um, if you look at this star at the top of the page, just to the right of all of your dots, that star is going to take you to the weekly plan for that week. So I tap the star and there I am back at the weekly page. So you can see you've now seen two different ways to get to that weekly planning page. One would be from your monthly page, tapping on the far right shaded area, 
And then the second would be directly from your weekly page by tapping on the star icon. And when I'm on this weekly planning page, um, this is new with this version, you can now jump back to the weekly dated page. I know that was a frequent request. So I'm here on my weekly planning page. If I tap on week five in the upper right hand corner, it's gonna take me back to that weekly dated page. So again, tap on the star and I'm at my planning page. Tap on the uh, week five there and I'm back on my weekly dated page. So just to think a little bit through navigation here, I've also given you a year at a glance page. And so this is another way if you just wanna get a feel overall for your year, it can be helpful for that. Um, you can also make little marks, you know, like highlights on, on important dates if you wanna just think about your year holistically. Um, but this is another place that you can use for navigation because each of the months are linked to the monthly page. So I'm here on my, my year at a glance page. I tap on April. It takes me to the April monthly spread. From here, I can go down to my weekly spread. And then from here, I can also go down to my daily spread. And now if you wanted to jump back to the weekly spread here from this daily, the fastest would be to tap again on April and tap on the week. And so those are all the basics of navigation. Again, I've tried to add a ton of hyperlinks here uh, so that you're not having to make multiple clicks to get to some simple places that you might reference often. And um, I've tried to make it really easy in that sense.